I am sure you agree that this philosophy is timeless. When General Johnson spoke, everybody listened. <laughs> you want to get things done. I think there's a direct translation from the kind of standards the general had at the company to what you see in the Robert Johnson Foundation. The basic mission of the foundation is fundamentally the same as it was when he started it, which is to improve the health and health care of all Americans. Do you consider yourself an academic, a doctor, or an activist? Yes. <laughs> One of the things that the general felt passionately about is that we at the foundation have programs that address the needs of the most vulnerable in society. We have to be attendant to not only health care, but also the social determinants of health. Things like where people live. Is it smog filled? Are they getting high quality education? Getting kids to have a healthy start makes a huge difference. In terms of eliminating disparities in health, that has been a major goal of Robert Johnson Foundation since the beginning. The government is still not adequately funding public health. And I think one of the most important roles that a foundation can play is to be ahead of the curve and developing models that government can later then put more resources in. It's had a tremendous impact on policy in this country. We see ourselves as being in the information business and trying to make sure that policymakers have the information that they need to make the best choices for the American people. I believe that nicotine is not addictive. I believe that nicotine is not addictive. The foundation knew it wanted to make a really seismic change in tobacco control. And they set out to do it, not just funding the campaign for tobacco-free kids, but funding state coalitions, funding research. When the history of tobacco control is written in this country, the foundation is gonna be in every chapter. Over the course of the foundation's history, we've made a tremendous investment in people. I'm a product of that human capital commitment. I feel deeply about the things that I'm doing. It, it grows out of my own background, you know, growing up on a farm in Alabama where we didn't have access to health care. When you impact upon the lives of people in terms of training and development or leadership development, it's one of the most important ways to stimulate social change. The foundation has a megaphone that no one else has. They have the ability to bring people to the table, know what, what we call the best practices are, and spread them through the healthcare system. The 911 system exists because of an early grant the Robert Wood Johnson Foundation gave to an ambulance corps. Which proved that if you had trained personnel, if you had a single number, lives were saved. When you have a great cause, a great mission, then you really attract talented people. And then you can move mountains. The world and America would be much poorer places without the Robert Wood Johnson Foundation. It's made a very important decision that we're gonna measure what we do and say, we see a problem, now we're gonna find a solution. That's the promise of the Robert Wood Johnson Foundation.